So this video is going to show you how we can use two's complement to represent negative binary numbers. Okay, so the first step I've already done for you. So you, if, if you're given a, a conversion to do, so in this case 113, the first thing to do is to write out the normal positive version of that number. So just to help us with the place values here, let's just put in the 128, the 64, and the 32, oops, and the 16, the 4 and the 2 and the 1. Okay, so if we add all those together, we know that's 96 plus 16 is 106, 112 plus 1 is 113. So what we do to convert a, a normal positive by a decimal number into its 2's complement negative equivalent is the first thing we do is we flip the bit. So in this case, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Zero. Now this is a really, really simple one, but the next step is you basically just add 1 to the rightmost bit, and if there's any normal binary addition issues to employ, such as carry, you do need to carry those out. So in this case, a really simple one, 1 plus 0 is 1. Now there's no carry here, but if there was, if there was a carry, we'd have to do 1 plus 1, and then we'd know that's 0, carry 1, and so on. But in this case, there is no carry, so we don't need to worry about this. So what we do is we just basically bring the rest of the bits down. This is why this table is really useful. So it's 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that is the 2's complement equivalent of 113. So that's the negative 2's complement of representation of the number 113. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, you might be asked to convert back. So this is the 2's complement version of 113 that I just wrote down. So to convert back, there's two different ways we can use the flip method. So let's just uh, do this one, shall we? Get my pen again. Oops. Okay. So all we do is we flip the bits. So 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then we add 1 again. So here we go. 1 plus 0 is 1. And we know there's no carry, so there's no more addition. So we just bring the rest of the bits down. Okay. And there we go. So we're now back into the, the decimal equivalent or the binary or the positive version of it because we know that 64 plus 32 plus so on and so on is 113. So that's one way of converting the negative 113 back to a decimal so we know what the value is. There is another way and it's called place value to convert back. And what we do in this case is we just basically look at the different values in the place value column and add them together. So we're basically going to add one to, negative 1 to 8 to 8 and 4 and 2 and 1. So 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 15. Okay, And then add 1 to 8 to that, but remember that's negative. So we then get that we know that that value is negative 113. And that is a way to check and show that you understand that a negative number represented in two's complement binary, the equivalent of it in decimal. And that's how you can show that you understand the conversion. And that's the basic essence of two's complement representation in binary.